Hey guys, and welcome back to another bit. And today we are doing Alternative Future of the World Part 5. This series has been going rapid fire. So last episode we had a ginormous war between the CSTO and Russia's allies between NATO and the PDO and the Rio Pact. So yeah, um, let's just go over a little bit. I'm not going to go over everything. Go watch the other episode. But yeah, um, we saw Iran lose land in, um, um, in the Middle East. We saw Ukraine get their entire thingy back. We saw Finland get, um, land out of Russia. We saw, um, Hong, Xinjiang, I think it is, getting annexed by the Republic of China. We have the Republic of China taking all this land over here. And yeah, if you want to see the more updated borders, go watch the other episode. So yeah, um, let's just get straight into our first thing thing thong. Whoa, um, <laughs> European Union um can be found in Europe. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. We have the European Union actually becoming a country. We can see some other countries join this, like the Czech Republic and... That's basically it. But yeah, the European Union is starting to form and other countries will start to join it. But yeah, staying over here in Europe, we're actually going to have um, Spain. Hello, Spain. How you doing? So yeah, Spain is going to have um, a little civil war. So yeah, we're going to have Catalonia um, fight for independence. Oh my god. So yeah. Um, Spain had a civil war in the 20th century, and now they're having one in the 21st century. So, yeah, let's get straight into the civil war. So, yeah, this group up in the north, um, I'm just going to call it the Lime Group. Lime, the Lime Group pushes around. It actually captures a lot of area of Spain. Spain was not ready for this. Well, they kind of were because it's a civil war, but, yeah. Catalonia can't really push out as much as they would like to. I mean, there is a lot of resistance in that region, so they don't really push out that far, but yeah. Over here, we can see that this group actually starts to get pushed back to its um original borders, and yeah, and also Catalonia gets pushed back, because, you know, Spain, the Spanish government really doesn't want Catalonia breaking away, but yeah, we also have... um. The Lime Group actually getting knocked off the map. So, yeah, no more Lime Group for you. And Catalonia took that to their advantage and started expanding. And that's um basically all of Catalonia. So, yeah, they go down um, and do that. And they make a spearhead to capture Madrid. And they capture Madrid, and it's basically all over pockets of like people saying hey catalonia should exist starts popping up and saying hey yeah 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 so yeah um then cat the catalonian peoples um pick up the speed and it starts going really really fast until spain can't handle it it's overwhelming and the spanish government surrenders so yeah let's take a look at this peace treaty so yeah, basically everybody saw it coming. Catalonia gets their independence, and also the capital of Catalonia would be Barcelona. Right there, I think. So yeah, if we go look over at the alliance map, we can see that um thingy happens. Yeah, so we have a Catalonia joining NATO, and Spain is really, really mad. But yeah, as we know, last episode, there was this alliance that freaked even NATO out. It was called the New World Order. And well, that's gonna take into effect with um um Belarus joining the New World Order and Iran joining the New World Order, so is Pakistan. So yeah, they might not be the strongest, but they are a thing. Another um country joining the New World Order 
is Serbia for some reason. They don't know why, but they just want to join the New World Order because NATO was threatening them. If they said if they would invade Kosovo, they would activate Article 5, even though, yeah. So, yeah, they joined the New World Order. But now we're going to see a new conflict happening. Um, We see um big conflict, actually. We see Russia declare war on Kazakhstan. Yeah, so... Um, NATO did say that any conflict that they get involved with, um, they would, they, every, any conflict that they, like, if they declare war, they would get involved in the conflict. That policy is kind of outdated, and they push into the country with no resistance at all. I mean, it's just Kazakhstan. Russia is probably, like, the third strongest country now, but, like, yeah, um, they're still pushing through. Kazakhstan stands no, <laughs> Kazakhstan stands no chance against the Russians, and they wipe out this half, and then this half surrenders. So, um, it's basically a simple peace treaty. Russia annexes the entire of Kazakhstan. So yeah, that's pretty cool for the Russians. Continuing their campaign down south, they declare war on Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan. And like Kazakhstan, there's no resistance in these areas. Russia pushes through. They say, hey, can I knock on your door? Where's the grandma's cookies? And they say, hey, we don't have any. And they're like, I will find you. Where? Where's my AK-47? I will shoot you down. And they start absolutely destroying all the forces here with no resistance at all. And, yeah, goodbye. Um, Boom. See you guys after peace treaty. Looking at this peace treaty here, we can see that... um. All these other guys get annexed, and Kyrgyzstan, no, that's Tajikistan, gets a little bit of land taken out of it. So, yeah, you can kind of see the resemblance to the Soviet Union here, but they're nowhere near to the Soviet Union. But yeah, over here on the alliance map, we can see that um thingy. So, yeah, um, Turkmenistan is forced to join into the New World Order. Mongolia is forced to join, and Tajikistan is also forced to join. Um, so, yeah, um, the entirety of the Alliance, so, like, all of these guys, decide to set out in military operations into a couple of African countries to get themselves, like, a foothold in, like, thingy there to get them, like, some stuffs, and, yeah, so, boom. So the entire New World Order Alliance declares war on Chad, not Libya, because it's under the control of the United States. Chad, um, the Central African Republic, and the Northern African Union. So yeah, the Northern African Union, Chad, and the Central African Republic are all at war with the New World Order. And, um, cars quick to fall, with Chad following suit. But then we do see the African Union pulling out some, a little resistance, um, to the things. But, you know, it's still the New World Order. They have Russia and Iran and all those guys. They have been weakened by the, um, thingies. But, yeah, you know, it's fine. Um, they push in. And we do see a civil war happening, yeah. Um, not all of these guys like the um, idea of Islam. So, um, Christianity groups rise up over here on the coast. And that really helps out the um, New World Order to invade the um, North African Union. And, yeah, the North African Union and the rebels. Um, not the North um the um, New World Order and the North African Union decides to split the um, North African Union um, like this. So yeah, see you guys after the peace treaty. Looking at the peace treaty here, we can see on the surface, it looks like nothing really happens. But if we look at the alliance map, <laughs> that was a weird cup. Um, we could see that... Um, the New World Order has three new members. So, yeah. Um, 
that just happened, and yeah, so that's cool. Um, but we do see the um newly formed West. Um, well, I don't know what this thing would be. It would just be the African. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, this thing declares war on. I forgot the name of these countries. Don't yell at me. Yeah, so they declare war on these guys. I know one is Senegal, one is the Gambia, and one is dead. Um, wait, the colors are swapped. You know, like one, one day, one singular day, I will not mess up a video. It will be perfect. It will be the best day on planet Earth. And when that day comes, invasion. Um, thing, yeah, so cool, uh, like I said, one day I will never mess up a video, so yeah, um, Senegal falls really easy, Gambia falls, and then, yeah, it just all falls, take a look at the peace treaty here, we can see that the, um, yeah, countries don't exist anymore, so yeah, um, so, Here we are back on the alliance map, and um, we do see a um, a thing happening. Turkey surprisingly leaves NATO. They don't need it anymore. It's nobody's really a big threat to them. Um, not yet, but yeah. Um, it's not really nobody's a really big threat. But as soon as they left, um, bro. Yo, let the man chill. Come on now. Okay, well, here we go. Um, All the African troops push up through Israelstine and get a pretty good um, 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 uh, foothold over this region in Turkey. Um, We see all the Asian countries over here pushing through Iran and it's going pretty good. Um, Azerbaijan also joins this war, and, um, oh, I just can't speak. Russia declares war on Georgia, taking them out of the war, and Azerbaijan might not last. Um, wait. No, wait, they joined on the side of, okay, so yeah, NATO doesn't get activated. So yeah, there goes Azerbaijan, and it's over for Turkey. As they squeeze in, it's basically done for. It's over. Ankara gets captured, and wow, the world is shocked. They just took down three countries in one go. So all these countries banded together looks like a really strong fit for each other. So yeah. Let's take a look at the peace treaty. Looking at the peace treaty here, we can see that Turkey basically collapsed. We can see that um, Iran took basically all of um, Iraq and plus a little bit more. Syria and Lebanon got released and also the rest of Jordan got given over to Israel. We have a new government over here, like in the Kurdish area of um, Russia. Not Russia, Turkey. But speaking of Russia, they annexed the Caucasus, and also a little bit of Iran, because, you know, um, um, Azerbaijan had a little bit of Iran, so they get, like, that stuff, um, so yeah, um, now looking over at the alliance map, we can see it went from western dominance in the Middle East to, um, eastern dominance in the Middle East, and, yeah, so, um, Syria and Lebanon in that, um, uh, Turkish thing, we're like, okay, if you want independence, you're gonna have to join our alliance, and like, yep, it's official, we're joining your alliance, well, uh, that's, that's very, very interesting, so yeah, um, the New World Order has just decided to just declare war on the entire of Arabia, so yeah, let's see how this goes, um, First, we have Egyptian and Israeli forces, also with all these African forces, um, push down and start to um, capture land in Saudi Arabia. 
so does um iran over here and um with the help of pakistan and iran both make a landing on this coast um capitulating um uh qatar and keep pushing down into the uae capitulating that country and starts pushing into saudi arabia but it does have a little bit of trouble pushing into um oman and saudi arabia is really not liking this they are a very powerful country but you know it's just the numbers like world war Two, like when germany just started invading uh russia slash soviet union it was like the numbers were just too big so yeah but then eventually um saudi arabian forces push back and actually encircle a bunch of these troops but not really because you know they have naval superiority over this area and they just do that but they um do uh continue their forces over here in oman and they do make a lot of landings down here and yeah if i sound weird this episode it's just because i got hit in the head with a soccer ball yeah so that's cool um they make all these landings and then they all connect up with each other making a big big front then um a couple months later we can see the front line is now this and it's not looking good for saudi arabia um oman capitulates and they start pushing into saudi arabia from there oman just i mean yemen just like just doesn't even anymore they're just like they're done so yeah um that's cool and that just leaves crippled old saudi arabia crippled old saudi arabia just surrenders so yeah they just took on the entire golf thing so yeah see you guys after the peace treaty wait that wait wait oh looking at the peace treaty here we can see that egypt um annexes a little bit of land off of the coast of Saudi Arabia. Um, over here, Israel becomes a blob. We have um, Iran, like, getting a big chunk out of Saudi Arabia. But if we look over at the alliance map, yeah. So, NATO is, um, compared to the New World Order, is a little small. So what they do is, with the PDO, they decide to merge the alliances together. So yeah, um, NATO is now ginormous, and we have Ireland also joining NATO, and we also have Bosnia and Herzegovina, but we do have a big thing happening. Serbia gets kicked out of the New World Order, and in rage, um, Serbia decides to declare war. On every neighboring country around it in rage. I'll spare you the pain. Looking at the fish data here, we can see on the surface, it looks like nothing happens, but, yeah. And also, um, Montenegro and Kosovo both joins, and Kosovo gets their full independence. So yeah, guys, I am going to end this video here. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see what, wait, you know what? Like I said in the last episode, Her Gerald in comments, Harold, Gerald, whatever, in comments, go back to the other episode and like it. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. If you did, smash that like button. We will go over the things that happen. Um, three words. New World Order. Two words has expanded so yeah guys i hope you like this video if you did smash that like button and i will see you all next time golden talk